another quick video here to show off my latest project. So what is it? This is a hand gesture controlled Bluetooth auxiliary audio input device. It connects to a Bluetooth enabled device such as your phone and it streams music. So it'll stream music out the audio, audio jack to an auxiliary input um, to say uh, your vehicle. So it's controlled by hand gestures, so there are actually no buttons to mess around with while you're driving. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the components that I've used on the board. The second thing we're going to go through are the features, and then finally we'll finish off with a demonstration um, of all the features. So you'll notice um, on the board that there are a lot of these red PCBs. These are from SparkFun. And they're sort of all tied together and integrated um, with my own custom PCB, which you see in green. So on the front side, we have a micro view, which is kind of like a um, Arduino. And it also has a nice convenient display on the front. And it's kind of the brains behind the project. And this is where I've uploaded my custom program uh, to take care of the interfacing of all the components. The second component we have is a APDS9960, I believe it's called. And this is the actual gesture sensing device. So on the front side, you have the gesture sensor. Um, I believe there's an ambient light sensor, which can detect different colors as well. And I believe it also contains a distance sensor. On the bottom, we have one of SparkFun's lithium polymer battery chargers. So this provides power to the entire board and it also charges the LiPo battery um, that you see hiding in the bottom of this case. And that brings me to the back side of the board. This is the RN52 Bluetooth breakout module. So this again is from SparkFun. And I believe the uh, RN52 chip is from Roving Networks. And this is the Bluetooth antenna and Bluetooth module and it controls um, the interface between this board and say your smartphone or whatever Bluetooth device that you're connecting it to. Okay, so now I'm going to explain the features of this thing. So a lot of the features are actually based on the RN52 uh, Bluetooth module at the back and it allows you to control the music. So you can go to the next track, previous track, volume up, volume down, and then it creates that audio gateway to allow you to basically connect an auxiliary device and play music out of its speakers. So that's, you know, the main function of this device. The RN52 also allows you to accept or reject incoming calls. So not only can you control your music, but you can also take control of, like I said, incoming calls. You can drop calls and you can also create a, like a back and forth audio gateway. So it will stream not only your music, but it will also stream the voice data coming out of your phone. And then you can actually use the RN52 like a hands-free device and you can input your voice, you can input audio, and it'll send it back to your phone and out to the other caller. And that's done on this board with a small microphone that I put on the board right there. The next thing too is the gesture sensing Basically, uh, that's obviously one feature on the board, um, pretty much a main feature. So again, there's no buttons, which is fantastic. It's just simply uh, hand gestures swiping across in different directions, near or far. Another great thing about this gesture sensing chip is the ability to sense ambient light levels. One of the things that I used it for was basically just upon startup, it'll detect the ambient light setting. And if it's dark outside or in your car or wherever you may be, I have a few LED lights here and it'll actually light them up um, just so that the board and the whole device is easier to see while you're trying to use it. The case, I don't know if you noticed, I've, I've kind of 3D printed a little case for it. So that's the bottom side. It has a clear top side as well. And the other great feature is the micro view display at the top. So it's a little LED display. It's fully programmable and I can pretty much put on anything I want on the screen. Um, but it's a nice little feature too because uh, the chip is actually removable. So I have it on female header pins. And I can pull it out, remove it from the board, and I can program it um, with, the, with the appropriate programmer, which I have here. So I designed the top side of the case. 
uh, to slide over everything. Okay. So with the top side of the case on, I can still remove or insert the uh, MicroView chip and then you have a nicely packaged case. Uh, you'll see the switch to turn it on there. And lastly, uh, another great little feature is the ability to charge with uh, micro USB. Okay, so finally I'd like to do a quick demonstration of how this thing works. So the first thing you do if you need to connect some sort of audio cable. So up at the top, there's a little jack, connect it, simple as that. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your smartphone or whatever it may be, in my case an iPhone, and you're gonna make sure the Bluetooth is enabled. So you'll see the little icon up there, Bluetooth is on. And you'll see that it's not playing right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this guy on. So as you can see, he's on, screen's on, and it's basically showing you your options. So to swipe up is volume up, swipe down is volume down, left and right, change the pre previous tracks or the next track. And then if you go a near swipe or a far swipe, it'll be pause or play. So let's get this thing going. So I'm gonna go a near swipe. And you'll notice that the Bluetooth is now connected. Oh, there you go, see it's connected and it's playing. And now I'm just gonna demonstrate switching to the next song. So we're gonna swipe across the device and it's changed to the next song. And we'll try that again to the next and to the next song. Okay, so that's really easy to do. I'm not actually playing the music out loud because of YouTube's copyright uh, protection. I don't know if playing that music will get this video taken down or not. So it's just for demonstration purposes. Um, but you'll also notice as I swipe up, if you pay attention to the screen here, swipe up, it'll say volume up, swipe down, try that again, volume down. Um, so it works quite well. And then we can again, pause, or play. So you'll notice that it did pause the music and we can play it as well. We can go any direction like this, up or down. And there you go, it started playing again. Okay, so now I'm gonna just demonstrate with the music playing. Uh, right now you'll notice that it's playing. I'm going to call myself. And there you go. So I have an incoming call. As you can see, the screen up here says connect or reject. So if I wanna connect, I just swipe up. So if I want to connect, I just swipe up. And there you go, accepted. And you can see myself in the screen there on FaceTime with my camera. And if I want to end the call, I can simply just swipe down and it ends the call. And the music will resume playing automatically. So you don't even have to hit play again. If you guys are interested, in building one of these yourself, uh, leave some comments in the comment section. Uh, let me know. I have some extra PCB boards that I had to uh, buy. I had to buy 10 of them. If you'd like to take on this project, I can help you through it. I can even uh, show you how I did the code and I can make everything available publicly. And that way you guys can benefit from this too and you can enjoy it as well. So please subscribe. Uh, leave the comments in the comment section if you have any questions.